Revelio. Rebellion. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. First... Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you were humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigeyse. A demigeyse? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. 
Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, Frank. Se you! Um, in fact, bro Alohomora. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Yeah. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that? This must be the prefect's bathroom.
Shinrock's loyalists are preparing for a rebellion. What are they mucking about? Stirring up trouble? Perhaps Ranrock and Hisop wouldn't be so positive if the Ministry would allow them to join. If Hisop comes near me, I'll hand him his hat. Or Helm, I suppose. Anyway, I'm not afraid of a god. My march is better hot at class than her. I don't think that's what that class is for. Wing on account of my venomous tentacles. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well. The students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season.
don't miss the moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Revelio. When the forgotten one... You can't imagine how inconvenient travel is. Oh, I invented flu powder. Revelio. What do you have in store for me this time? Revelio. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Slow. Accio. Give up. Accio. Incendio. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Rebellion.
incendio. Expelliarmus. I should investigate. Revelio. 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 Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion. Confringo. Akio. Confringo. Reparo Revelio Revelio Huh. 
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Revelio. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, None of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think. Rich is his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please... Do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, 
couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Oh. Uh. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. The measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Hm. Hey, over here. Come on. something poppy thank you again for saying something